What's up XRP family? Thank you for joining this video for today. This is a very interesting time guys because any moment, any moment it can happen. And I know that a lot of you are so tired of hearing dates and, and waiting, but the guys who really hold XRP and they know that it can happen any moment, they don't care when it happens because they know that they have full trust in what they invest in. And this is the most important thing, guys. It's about the mindset, about the discipline and not because now you can see that a lot of retail traders have been um, sold out of the market. So a lot of retail traders that were actually also on YouTube, like we had all the YouTubers had more views because of the retail traders. And now they have less views because the retail traders, you can literally see that because retail traders have sold out the market because they didn't survive anymore. And now we are on the brink of a new bull run. That's just how it works, guys. You have to follow the whales. Now, okay, look at this. Whale Alert made a tweet that Coinbase has transferred $38 million worth of 62 million XRP. By July 28, XRP trading on Coinbase and other exchanges would resume. Now, isn't that funny? Because 28 July is also the date that we have a deadline. By then, the, the, the government told the SEC that they want a decision on regulation on cryptocurrency and they want a decision on the XRP case. So the SEC is under a lot of pressure, guys. And I think very soon, maybe after the deposition, we will literally hear the good news that the, the case has been settled and XRP will fly very high. The suppression is gone and we will see major spikes in price. And I think it will go hand in hand with a new bull run. But let's see. Let's see what happens. In January, after SEC regulation agency initiated a lawsuit against Ripple, Coinbase suspended XRP trading. We all know that. But look, SEC sets deadline to offer crypto regulation plan. Moreover, Warren explained that by tw uh, July 28, the SEC will present her with an official response on its plan to develop and implement crypto regulation. Prior to that, Jack Dorsey, the Bitcoin maximalist and Twitter CEO, unfollowed Senator Warren on Twitter for her anti-Bitcoin tirade in the Senate that occurs on June 9. Furthermore, in the common thread on the Will Alert post, few users suggested that by July 28, XRP trading on Coinbase and other exchanges would resume. This happens when Gensler provides Warren what she wants, however, a plan on regulating the crypto industry. Now, we are very close, guys, whether it's tomorrow or whether it's in 10 days. Of course, I told you that 10 and 11 were very important, but they were, guys. And there is a lot of things happening on the background that a lot of people cannot see. There has been some cyber attacks, by the way, and this is what we're waiting for. Now, it's very, very close, guys. Don't give up. Here we have a video. Let's take a look into U.S. sanctions because if the U.S. is sanctioning you, you can't move money using that SWIFT system. Mm -hmm. So what's really interesting is, number one, they're creating a payment system that would go around SWIFT. But how do you do that when you have five major countries that all have their own currencies? And one of the ways they're doing that is by using possibly cryptocurrency to do that. That would mm -hmm. translate their currencies into a single cryptocurrency that is then used through the system and then re- um, um, formulated, I guess, mm -hmm. when it gets into their country, back into their, their own personal um, uh, currency. So mm -hmm. essentially you're taking currency from one, sending it through as a cryptocurrency, and then back on the other end, into, in transforming it into another currency. And that allows them, again, to get around this SWIFT system in a way uh, mm -hmm. that no one had really thought about in the past because crypto already has... Now this is crazy, guys. Can you see that? BRICS nation setting up payment. Now I don't know from when is this video, but you can clearly see, guys, BRIC nations are part of G20 and G20 already is talking right now. They had a major event, which I will show you what Christine Lagarde has been saying. Here we have Christine Lagarde because in the previous couple of days, they have had a G20 uh, meeting and you can clearly see, guys, that they're talking about XRP. Here, let's take a look. We have a framework. We have a new framework that is... Uh... Uh, unanimously approved uh, by the by the governing council and we're going to look at as we always do every six weeks we're going to look at the circumstances we're going to look at what uh, forward guidance we need to uh, uh, revisit 
we're going to look at the uh, calibration of all the, uh, the tools we are using to make sure that it is aligned with our new strategy. And I think that, you know, given the, the persistence that we need to demonstrate to uh, deliver on our commitment, forward guidance will certainly be revisited. It, it, does it give you extra tools? So on July 22nd, it's actually a bit, I mean, it's, it was always a big meeting, but it's mm. an even bigger meeting because it's not only something technically, right? It's not technical change. It, you know, it's going to be an important meeting because, number one, we're going to communicate differently. So what uh, analysts, experts, uh, journalists are going to see is a slightly different presentation of, uh, of our monetary policy decision. And I very much hope that it will be clearer, simpler, crisper, uh, to the point, and, uh, and as little jargonic as possible. Yeah. That's one. Two, w there will be a, a forward guidance uh, review, which, because we have to align with the strategy review that we just completed. And my sense is that we will continue to be determined by um, maintaining favorable financing conditions mm -hmm. uh, on, in our economies because we want to continue to support that, this recovery that is underway. So yeah, there, there will be some interesting um, variations and changes. When's the right time to start talking about an exit strategy? Oh, not now. <laughs> now is not the right time to talk about exit strategy because uh, we, are, we are still forcefully delivering uh, under these exceptional circumstances using exceptional tool, which is the um, Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program, which I expect uh, to um, last at least until March um, and possibly to transition into a new format after March. That's what we see at the moment. But I think we need to be very flexible and, and uh, not uh, start, you know, creating the anticipation that the exit is in the next few weeks. Here you can see, guys, she's clearly talking about a new system, a new strategy, new tools. You can see that they have everything is everything is ready. Everything is ready. We're just waiting for that flip of a switch. This is the European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde. Listen very carefully. If you if you didn't listen carefully, go listen again. She clearly says that they want favorable payment measures to be used. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Now, she said 22nd of July is a very important meeting and they will start using new tools, using new measures to communicate. Guys, this is crucial. This is things you have to see it. You have to be able to see it. Okay. So here, whale alert, Coinbase transfers 38 million. Now that's here by July 28, XRP trading on Coinbase and other exchanges would resume. Now, guys, you we have a lot of events in July. A lot of events. Okay. We have the deadline on 28. We have Flare launching this month. We have uh we have a lot of things going on with the deposition 19th of july we have a lot of events that would trigger the the price spike and it's very obvious to me i can see it here we have david schwartz tweeting stuff again and a lot of people are again at it with their riddles some say 589 some say other stuff i don't know what he's doing guys but he's tweeting a lot of things at the moment so be sure to check that out it's very interesting here you can read a very interesting stuff about ripple we already know this but it's more in depth you can you can pause the video and read this guys because it's very interesting now i cannot read this all to you it will take a very long time but here you can see just like susan atney attended billboard group meeting in 2014 alongside christine lagarde a few months after that meeting she joined the ripple board this was take over year. She knows banks have no choice and that's why they are hungry for some XRP, uh, Ripple Tech and XRP. Now, we just saw Christine Lagarde speak and you can clearly see guys that they are ready to use it. So here we have World Bank and IMF support CBDC. Together with the Bank of International Settlement, the, the two global organizations released a paper saying that coordination on digital currencies will upend the status quo of needing to rely on expensive and delayed money transfer services to transport money throughout the world. The paper was developed for a G20 summit in Italy 
which brought together finance ministers and central bankers from the world's top nations. Guys, what do you think they're talking about? Federal Reserve is studying designs for a digital dollar. They are going at it. The G20 study addressed the risks of launching digital currency, saying that lowered obstacles to currency substitution could jeopardize exchange rate re restrictions and monetary policy independence in some central bank regimes. Easy cross-border transaction, according to research, could increase risk for runs on both local banking sectors and currencies, all else equal. So they are still discussing stuff. CBDCs, are they good or not? Well, guys, don't worry. They will release CBDCs in the very near future. Jed McCallop sells 150 million in the past three weeks. Now, this is another event that we have, guys. He is almost out of Ripple. And I will be very interested to see how that will turn out. Now, I don't know how many days it will take before he runs out, but he don't have much on his wallet anymore. On June 7, he received XRP transaction from Ripple. It was one of the uh, XRP transfers that Ripple makes to its co-founder on a regular basis as part of a settlement agreement. Coinbase moved. Now, this is already the Coinbase again related to each other. So, guys... It's really crazy. McCaleb has 590 million XRP remaining in his Tecos 10 cryptocurrency wallet. This is crazy. 590 million is nothing for this guy because he's dumping a lot. Bank of Ghana deputy governor says central bank digital currency is fiat money. Reviews pilot phase will start September. They will start September using a digital currency, guys. It's on the corner. Venture arm of Thailand's oldest bank says DeFi will disrupt traditional finance, which I very much agree with because DeFi is really taking uh, taking over the, the traditional banking system in a matter of like saving your money. If you save your money in DeFi, you make money. These days, the interest rates on banks are very low. So here you can see that they are very interested. When asked what trends SCB was seeing in the sector, Panich told Coindesk she was looking to the promise of continuing developments in the infrastructure and cross-chain interoperability among existing protocols. So you can see, guys, the big guys are stepping up right now. UAE Central Bank set to roll out digital currency. This is just shortly after they started using RippleNet, which is which is all over the internet, guys. So if you don't believe me, you can just go and look up the official document even came out that they signed to use RippleNet for cross-border payments from the UAE. And now they are making a central uh, digital currency. Now, what do you think they're going to use, guys? It's very, it's very obvious. BIS report, CBDCs can cut cross-border payments friction points. Friction points. Guys, Brett Garlinghouse always was talking about friction points. Okay, in, in, in these payments, they want to solve friction points. And now they're talking about the same thing. For example, the paper noted the length of correspondent banking transaction change can range from just over in one intermediary on average for cross-border payments on SWIFT to five or more intermediary banks for 20% of euro denominated cross-border payments. So here you can see SWIFT will not go away, by the way, but they will work together with Ripple. Believe me, the BIS Research Central Bank Digital Currencies for Cross-Border Payments report to the G20. Again, 22nd of July, the very important meeting. IMF World Bank Championing CBDCs at G20 Summit. The signs are all over the internet, guys. In a joint report to the G20, the IMF, IMF World Bank and the Bank of International Settlements suggested that a cross-border network of central bank digital currencies be established. Now... You can clearly see that they're making plans to use RippleNet. Ghana's central bank to pilot CBDC in September calls it cash on its own. Now, you can clearly see, guys, where we are heading. And we are on the brink of a very major move. Be ready and don't regret it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.